Please welcome back Swift Chairman Yawa Shah. Thank you, Noel, for those insightful remarks. They really have set the tone for the week ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, it is once again my honor and privilege to be with you to provide an update on your cooperative, alongside some observations about our industry. Today, as is my tradition, I will cover three themes. First, strategic alignment. This is a responsibility that SWIFT shares with the community to create a bank-centric vision of the future. Secondly, I will cover delivery and adoption. Here I'll talk about how SWIFT is working to equip the community with the right services to propel each and every one of your businesses forward, and how we all need to leverage this. Finally, I will talk about responsible finance and the importance of doing all of this with a strong focus on risk and control. Now let me take each of these in turn. First, strategic alignment. Those of you who know me know that I've been doing this in the industry for a while now, across payments, securities, and compliance, and I've never been more energized. Innovation is at an all-time high in the financial services industry, and there's a profound sense of excitement. Why? There are a number of forces at work. There is tremendous demand in the marketplace for what we do across payments and securities processing. The world changed in many ways because of COVID. And in our industry, one of the lasting impacts is a quantum shift to digital. The volume of non-cash transactions is forecasted to grow double digits in the coming years. And depending on which consultant reports you read, total payments revenue could rise by half a trillion US dollars by the end of the decade. Of course, this is attracting lots of interest from the investment community, particularly as companies try to address changing customer needs and remove friction points. Private equity and venture capital is pouring into this space, and mergers and acquisitions are taking place at a blistering pace as established firms buy new capabilities and new startups scale. We are looking at an incredibly vibrant ecosystem that, yes, can be potentially disruptive for banks and SWIFT, but is also full of opportunity. And your SWIFT is right at the heart of it. Never has SWIFT been offered so many avenues of growth. As you would expect, we are active in numerous proofs of concept with explorations, with banks, market infrastructures, fintechs, technology providers, and more as we shape the future together. We have a constant eye on the horizon. For example, we are looking at emerging areas and trends like cryptocurrencies and decentralized finance so that we can anticipate what they mean for our global community. SWIFT is committed to enabling a bank-centric ecosystem in cross-border account-to-account transaction management, providing best-in-class back-end infrastructure so you, all of you, can provide best-in-class services to your customers. As a global, neutral cooperative, SWIFT serves all communities from the largest global transactions banks to the small and mid-sized institutions that represent so many of our members. That focus on the broad community is core to what we are. That brings me to my second point, delivery and adoption. SWIFT is working across multiple fronts, payments, securities, and financial crime compliance, to name just a few, in order to put in place the pillars for the future. These pillars are built on a strong foundation of security, reliability, and resilience. These things are fundamental to the trust you put in us. So what does this all mean? It means supporting you on the migration to ISO 20022. The rich data standard enables innovative services better customer experiences, and fewer processing exceptions. You recognize the importance of the community moving together and the reality that everyone could not move at once. Because this is a big lift. And that's where SWIFT is playing a role, enabling a seamless transition to ISO 2022 in line with the industry's decision and adoption timeframe through 2025. 
we are building capabilities to facilitate translation between ISO 20022 messages and MT. That way, early adopters of the standard can immediately realize its benefits, and those that need to take more time can go at their own pace. But let me be clear, this is not just a compliance exercise. There is tremendous strategic value for banks in moving to ISO 20022. Rich data enables higher levels of automation, creating opportunities to cut costs, reduce risks, and grow revenues. They range from operational cost reductions through savings in collateral and capital to broadening the range of services available to customers. SWIFT understands this, and we have prioritized translation capabilities for the community to help navigate through the transition period. We remain fully committed to driving a vastly improved rich data standard across the community in the years to come. But that is not all. In parallel, I repeat, in parallel, SWIFT is creating a new transaction manager that will leverage rich data to orchestrate flows for a seamless experience. This is transformational. It represents a shift from sequential messaging to full transaction management and a step change for cross-border payments and securities processing across SWIFT. What does this mean for payments? It means SWIFT will enable you to have end-to-end -end transactions that are instant and frictionless. And in securities, SWIFT will help you create processes that are even more efficient, transparent, and less complex. SWIFT has a strong coalition of the willing who continue to provide support and guidance to ensure strong alignment with the community's needs. And SWIFT will be delivering new capabilities at speed. In payments, SWIFTGO and payments pre-validation have recently gone live. SWIFTGO is a new service that helps financial institutions improve the experience for small and mid-sized businesses and consumers who send low-value cross-border payments. It enables these banks' customers to move faster, easier, and more competitively priced payments around the world. SWIFT's pre-validation service enables real-time payment validation to reduce errors, exceptions, and costs caused by wrong or missing beneficiary information. It supports the strategy for instant and frictionless transactions. And in the months ahead, we plan to continue innovating the service. I could go on and on with examples in payments, securities, and financial crime compliance. But instead, what I want to emphasize is that SWIFT needs to continue to deliver and execute with speed and discipline. This brings me to my final point, responsible finance. Everything we do is about enabling our industry to be compliant, to manage risk well, and to continually raise the bar on security. Within SWIFT, business strategy, delivery, and risk and control have equal priority. We continue to deliver responsibly with a clear risk management process and with a controlled activation plan for the new platform that the community can trust. We have strong governance through our board. And as you know, we are overseen by the G10 central banks, which we respect. That is what it means to innovate responsibly. To lean in hard on the future while maintaining due care on security, reliability, and resilience. And it's important that as the industry continues to evolve, as services and players expand, which is good because it makes us all better, everyone is held to the same rigor. SWIFT provides the tools to keep member institutions secure and compliant as well. The customer security program is instrumental in helping our community protect itself from cyber attack. And tools such as the Payments Control Service and daily validation reports are critical in identifying suspicious activity. As a global and trusted cooperative, SWIFT is in a unique position to support you on these critical fronts. In conclusion, all of this work helps preserve the strength and integrity of the global financial system. I would like to thank the SWIFT board for its strong and active governance during this period of strategic delivery and against the pandemic backdrop. All organizations everywhere have had to adapt, including SWIFT.
and our community. And we continue to, recognizing that we must do so with respect and empathy for the human toll. I am grateful for the Board's expertise during this period, as well as engagement from experts in the community and major global transaction banks, who all bring a wealth of insights and experience that benefits the entire SWIFT community, and to the national member groups as well for their active support and engagement. They are at the heart of the community and ensure all voices are heard. And of course, I want to thank the executive team and the entire SWIFT staff for their continued hard work and dedication during this challenging period of the pandemic, and thank them in anticipation for their accelerated delivery in the future. Before I hand over to Javier, let me share one last thought. People often ask me what the future looks like for SWIFT as an incumbent in an environment of innovation and disruption. Here's what I tell them. SWIFT has and will continue to deliver with responsible innovation. It has the support of the global banking community. It has strong oversight and talented staff and the financial resources needed to invest. It is well known that we have been doing this for a long time, and I say we're just getting started. It is my honor and privilege to serve as chairman of the board, and I thank you for your ongoing support and engagement. Javier, the floor is yours.